Can you explain to me or help Robert through in his great ignorance the difference between classical singing and your singing? Your voice is so powerful and oh, so yeah. versatile. I don't, I no, I'm not understanding why there is a difference between ah, I could never sing opera. I mean, oh my goodness, God. Why? Oh, that's like saying, what's the difference between playing the fiddle, the Donholm fiddle, and playing the Dvorak violin concerto with a, oh, come on. They are different worlds. In terms of technique, skill, ambition, versatility. Technique. Technique. Technique, technique just the sound. My God, it's the sound that you're after. The pure sound, you know how long it takes to get to that pure sound an opera singer has? And all it's all about the sound that never changes through their entire range. And that is something you spend years working on. Like, that's a tough thing. We do that too. We try and not have an obvious break, you know, when you go from chest voice to head voice, whatever. Oh, but no, that, that, that's a whole, it's, it's a whole other thing. And we can't, a parallel I can't skill, go and sing. A parallel skill or yes. a superior skill? No, it's a parallel a skill. A parallel skill. I think it's a parallel skill because, I mean, I once did this in concert. I thought it would be really funny and fun. I did a parody of, this is what to me, <laughs> classical singers, one of my pet peeves, a classical <laughs> singer who tries to sing a jazz or a Broadway song and I'm, why? Like you don't have enough material to work with? Don't do it unless you can go there and do that. I would never sing an aria from it because I know I can't do that. I can sing a heck of a lot of styles, but I will not do that. So why would somebody do it? makes me crazy. And that's where you hear the difference. Yeah. What I did for love. Like, you know, they think that's, oh, come on, that's awful. And it, you shouldn't do it. And you can't. Some can. Some can. So I'm curious then. The technique of that opera singer has confined their creative reflexes? If they cannot switch to another style, oh. if, if, if I, a Shakespeare actor, can't do George Walker, can't do a flashpoint, I have been hemmed in by my own style, oh, no, my own but technique. but they do Puccini, and they do Mozart, and they do Wagner, and they do, come on! But a Judy Dench can go between a James Bond and a Shakespeare and a television. That's fine, And That's she the works same on thing. all of them. Therefore, the, the opera singer can't go to the jazz sing, can't go to the jazz piece, no, no, because but they're kept in by the technique, but by ingraining the technique in their, in their bodies, have they restricted no. what they can do? No. Then why can't the opera no. singer do jazz? Well, why would you want to anyway, is my point. It's music. Of course it's music, but I, I do musical theater and I can, I can sing jazz standards, yeah, for sure. But I, I don't want to sing opera. That's not my thing and I know. I don't want, I don't have that <laughs> sound. I have not spent those years getting that bel canto sound I don't want it, but I still, every time I do a show, it's different. Singing Les Mis demands something different than doing Toxic Avenger, you know? It's totally different, yet I'm the same singer, it's a different style. I feel like I'm in totally different, different places, yet it's the same technique, it's the same instrument. Same with them, my God. Oh, they're not more restricted than we are, going from one style to the other. Those are different styles of music they're singing, different composers, you know, different worlds. So what styles do you sing? You said you can sing many styles. Oh, I could, I don't know, I can sing bluesy stuff, jazz, I can sing rock, pop, musical theater. And the difference in singing those styles is a technical difference or no. what comes from the inside? It's an idiomatic difference. It's like, it's like, it's like doing a play with a different accent. It frankly is. That's kind of what it is, isn't it? Yeah. You're still acting exactly the way you would act otherwise. But you have to make the sounds a little bit different. 
there seems to be more silos in the world of music than in the word, world of words. In that, I love seeing Zipper Dipper Du going from a film to a this to that, oh, yeah. being asshole, the Judy Dench doing this, the Colin Fior going from a King Lear to a, a cop drama. I love watching that. And in that performer, like a Judy Dench or whatever, moving between those forms, there is a cross fertilization that makes all of them richer, as it were. Mm -hmm. We expect that more, or I admire that more in the word arts. It doesn't happen in the US. You are a TV actor, you are a film actor, you are a stage actor. Uh. Blah, you're locked. But in Germany and France and yes. Buenos Aires and whatever, you move around. And that, yeah. so, but I'm hearing the music world likes or keeps its silos more. That the opera singer won't sing jazz, that the whatever, it's not of that interest to them. Is that correct? Well, and Am I, I expressing this right? I don't dare speak for everyone, yeah. not by any means. But I think, as a rule, yeah, when you spend your life building that voice, and, that's it, and yeah. that, yeah, that's, you don't just suddenly say, oh yeah, I'll do some musical theater, which some do and maybe want to and put out a jazz album, and that's, yeah. that's fine, and some can do it, sure. You're a singer, you're a singer, but I'll just leave it at never would I put out a recording of arias, you know. I just heard a recording of someone, I can't remember, great singer doing Kurt Vile. I went, no, it shouldn't be singing Kurt, Kurt Vile, sorry. It's just, you, yeah. it just, you weren't there. And how uh, funny that you wouldn't know that. That, that shocks me, you yeah. know. It's like, my God, come yeah. on.